This Venus retrograde is not coming to play. It is not fucking around. This is a big, big deal, you guys. Like, I cannot even stress to you how big of a freaking deal this is. Venus retrograde on Pluto in Capricorn. The fall of old structures and foundations. Let go. What is up, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Tony Michelle, and welcome to the Venus Retrograde video. I have been so excited to do this video because this Venus Retrograde is not coming to play with our asses. This Venus Retrograde. Woo! It is a big freaking deal. And I have so much to share with you guys today. Like, I did my astrological homework, okay? I did my homework. I did my homework. I went back and looked at previous Venus retrogrades in Capricorn on Pluto so we could get somewhat of an idea of what is going to be happening in the world and in our personal lives for this Venus retrograde. So that's basically what this video is. I'm going to be talking about what the hell is going on, what the hell is happening with this Venus retrograde, what you can expect and what the world can expect because this is a really big fucking deal for the world but especially the U.S. and as someone who lives in the U.S. it's it's important whatever happens in the U.S. kind of ripples elsewhere but it's going to be affecting places all around the world so do remember that too. As an astrologer I know like a lot of other astrologers can agree like we've all been kind of like anticipating this Venus retrograde at the end of this year like what is it going to be what's going to happen the biggest thing is some kind of financial crisis some kind of economic crash which we will go into, but there's a lot of other things that we can see with this Venus retrograde that I'm gonna talk about in this video. So get comfy, grab a snack or whatever the hell, join me while we do a deep dive into what this Venus retrograde could be bringing in the world and in your personal life. Before we jump into it, like this video and comment down below. Make sure to share this video. It will help my little small channel over here out a ton. I would really, really appreciate it. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into it. So what the fuck is a Venus retrograde for anybody that's new or just not familiar with what I'm even talking about here? So Venus is a planet. <laughs> Venus is a planet that stands for feminine energy, women, relationships, money, attraction, the things that give us pleasure, our relationship with the material world and with nice things, the things that make us feel good. Because of that, Venus can rule over money and possessions and material things and relationships, love. So we have the planet of love and money basically going retrograde. What is a retrograde? I always explain it this way. It's kind of like if you were to leave your house and go to the store and you get to the store and then you realize you forgot your wallet at home. So you go back to your house and get your wallet and then have to go back to the store. That is basically a retrograde. They're not actually moving backwards. They're just moving backwards from our point of view. When a planet is in retrograde, it's not a great time to start stuff because just using that analogy, if you get to the store, you realize you forgot your wallet and you were in the middle of checking out, you want to hurry and get back so you can find your wallet, but you also have to somewhat take your time as well and slow down so you can find where you set your wallet, but you're not thinking about, oh yeah, like I should just dip and go to this store or go to this friend's house. Like, you know, you need to finish what you started and you need to find your wallet to do that. So that's kind of a retrograde. It's like a retracing, a reflecting, a redoing. It is a time of reflecting on things from the past. It is a time of redoing something or being or feeling delayed in some way. And so that's why a lot of us astrologers say it's not a great time to be starting new things, especially getting in a relationship for a Venus retrograde. It's not a good time. Or making any big purchases is also not re recommended with the B Venus retrograde. But doing anything new that wasn't in your life before, but now it's there, like starting something new is not permitted during this time, especially if it deals with love, money, appearances, beauty, possessions. It's a time of kind of like figuring out the stuff we already have and sorting that out first before we move on to the next thing. That's why we say that and that's just some tips for this Venus retrograde going into it right off the bat. So what makes this retrograde such a big fucking deal is that it is retrograding on top of Pluto and Capricorn. Pluto is the planet of the underworld. It is darkness, our shadow side, our collective 
subconscious, you could say. The things that can be a little bit shady from time to time. Pluto can rule over crime, the darker areas and sides of life, things that are hidden, things that are mysterious, things that we don't always like want to open up about or share to the world. And corruption it can also rule over resourcefulness and the wealthy. It also deals with power and power struggles. Pluto has been in Capricorn since 2008, right? And as soon as it stepped in, we went through some economic hardship here in the U.S., which is interesting because the reason that this is such a big deal for the U.S. is because Venus is retrograding on Pluto, like I said, but Pluto is coming up on the U.S.'s Pluto. So the U.S. is going through its first Pluto return, and this is a really big deal. And I'm gonna do a whole separate video on America's Pluto return. But basically, when any country, civilization, etc., goes through a Pluto return, it's kind of a make or break time. Is it gonna last? Or, you know, there's been a lot of civilizations that have kind of fallen in the midst of a Pluto return or not made it past the Pluto return. And there has been civilizations that have. So I'm not saying that we're all gonna die here or anything like that. It's just a major time of reconstructing the foundation in which the U.S. stands upon, which I've been talking about for a long time now. Anyways, Capricorn. What is Capricorn? Capricorn is the backbone and it literally rules the spine and the bones and the body. It is the structure in which holds something together. It is the foundation of something as well. What is the earth sign that starts us in winter? Capricorn is very earthly, very grounded, only worried about what is necessary. What do we need that's necessary? How can we hold things or conserve things together? It's a very conservative sign. It wants to conserve the things that matter that are important. This is when I'm going to start getting to a lot of different predictions, but when you kind of blend these energies together of Venus retrograde, Pluto, and Capricorn, you kind of will get a lot of different ways that this could play out. Now, just a fair warning, these are just my predictions. These may not all happen, but I would really appreciate it that if you do see any of these themes happening or any of these things happening that I name off, to please let me know because I would like to know. And another reason this is such a big deal for the US is because it's happening in the US's second house of money, resources, and finances, and Venus already rules money. Pluto has affiliations with money and the wealthy, and Capricorn's an earth sign, therefore material. And so we we just kind of have this, these layers of money, finances, resources, products, and things that we need to live the lives that we want to have. And so that is going to be very, very big for the U.S. And that's why a lot of us astrologers are saying that this Venus retrograde looks like it could be detrimental to the U.S. economy, our financial system. And so we'll see how that goes. So first, I'm going to talk about the different things that, the different possibilities, so to say, that I think that we could see from this Venus retrograde. Then I'm going to go back in time and talk about what we've seen in the past and how some of that may come back around now. But the big thing is here is the destruction of the old. Something is being reconstructed. We can see that quite literally as well. We may start seeing the destruction of old buildings, old structures, anything that we thought would stand the test of time that's become corrupt or that needs to be reconstructed in some way. Venus in Capricorn is kind of like a boss up type of energy, right? Like Capricorn, it's a feminine sign. It is boss bitch type of energy. So this is like, okay, it's time to boss up and manage some shit. And a really great metaphor that I kind of came up with that may be prevalent during this Venus retrograde in Capricorn is kind of like opening an old book to a story that you thought you knew, but <laughs> you didn't, right? Like you open it up and you realize, oh, this wasn't what I thought it was. But some of the predictions that I have, because Pluto and Capricorn is pointing out and digging up a lot of corruption within authority figures, the government, governments in general, I think that there's going to be a lot of lies, scandals, secrets exposed of really prominent figures, government officials, the wealthy, the elite, authority figures, all of that. I think there will be a lot of lies, scandals, a lot of them likely to do with money, relationships, power will be exposed over 
this next month or two. I think that we could possibly see protests and a lot of political and social upheaval. I think that we could also see possibly topics of nuclear deals because Pluto deals with bombs and nuclear topics, investigations, questions of abusing one's power. A big thing that I think we could see though is a change or shift in power. Some kind of change in somebody that's in power, like either a transfer of power to somebody else or some kind of change. And it could even be pretty dramatic, like Pluto can deal with death and destruction. And so this could be like an unexpected death of an authority figure, like someone very prominent, a leader, uh, a big government official, etc. And I, I would not be surprised if something with Biden where a transfer of power happened there within like these next really few weeks, but for sure within these next couple months. And I talked about that in my December 2021 astrology video. I think that we're gonna see a lot of governmental control, like governments and leaders and authorities really trying to push control, like the power or the corruption of the wealthy and the financial systems. And then obviously there's kind of like, you know, a stock market crash, the banking system dealing with losses or crashing in some way. Issues over territory and land can be very big with cap big Capricorn transits, an economical crash, especially in the US. Like I said, Capricorn strips us down to the bare minimum. So what we thought was was once solid may not be as solid as we thought and that could be very very apparent during this venus retrograde not only collectively and in the world but in our personal lives as well i think that there could be a lot of massive changes or shortages agriculture losses supply chain issues sh the shipping crisis i think could definitely become pretty pretty big possible food shortages. And I also really feel like, you know, Biden's infrastructure bill really goes with this Capricorn energy. And like I said, um, in my December video, I'm not like too well versed on what all that bill entails, but I just feel like something it, big is going to come up with that. And then his social spending bill literally fits with Saturn, which is in Aquarius and Saturn rules over Capricorn. So this Venus retrograde on Pluto is having Saturn as its ruler. And so we can look to Saturn and Aquarius to get more information on what this Venus retrograde could entail. And Aquarius is a very social sign and deals with groups of people and social issues. And so that could really be tied into this as well and really goes with these two bills that we see coming up here. But I could see something going pretty wrong with these bills. I also think it's gonna be a time collectively where we're getting real with ourselves. Like it's like a major reality check of like what's really important, what holds value. And it's gonna be a time of reflecting on what needs to be conserved. This could be a time where we are upgrading social sh systems and structures. I think this is also really signifying with Saturn and Aquarius, like what old structures or systems are we going to progress with and what are we going to tear down? And I will get to more of that in a minute. But I do feel like there will be this push to move into a more digital or technological world, which I don't... I don't know how great that's gonna go with the North Node moving into Taurus, but we'll see. I could also see the government or authority figures trying to get involved in cryptocurrency. It's kind of a time of feeling, of really seeing like how far do we wanna progress? You know, Capricorn really brings up a lot of historic themes like our history and things like that. It does have certain ties to our history, the rules and tradition. And so Aquarius is more progressive. And so I think this is gonna be a time of like, how far do we wanna progress? How far are we gonna say rules don't matter or structure or discipline doesn't matter? And I think these are also questions that could be coming up around this time. I think we're gonna see a restructuring of our day-to-day -day lives, education and jobs, especially in the US. Reflecting on success, class and status in the world and what that means. I think we could also see a lot of sexual crimes, sexual assault, especially involving women, women and power, possibly even sex trafficking. You know that aligns with a really big uh, case that's going on right now that I don't know if I'm allowed to say here on YouTube. So we will see how that goes. <laughs> but our relationship with tradition is changing in some regards and what we value is changing. What matters, what's necessary is changing. I think that 
we could also see corrupted churches or corruption within churches, sex scandals, and possibly a power or electrical crisis. I could see something happening there. So now we are going to go back in time to Venus retrograde in 2013. There were a lot of themes of like powerful people dying, resigning, or being exposed, bribery exposed, major investigations were going on. We had record snowfall killing like 11 people and leaving people without power at the very end of 2013. Pope Francis was having meetings on dealing with the Catholic Church in cases of sin and sexual abuse. There were tons and tons of protests like all around the world, basically all dealing with the power that these different authority figures and governments had over people. There were Ukraine pro-European Union protests. There were also a lot of really dangerous, like a lot of protests got very dangerous dangerous. There were casualties, destruction of different buildings and stuff like that. Like the Ukraine pro-European Union protest, one protester stormed uh, the city council building. The European Commission fined uh, a bank 2.3 billion for basically being involved in the drug cartel, illegally manipulating interest rates. There were Iraqi suicide bombings, lots of bombs, and lots of bomb threats globally. Celebs and powerful or wealthy people involved in sex crimes globally. There was a new chair in the Federal Reserve. There were also credit card breaches. Croatia outlawed same-sex marriage, and these are other things that we can normally see come up with Capricorn, like the rules, tradition, and kind of wanting to just stick to the same thing and not allow progression. But there's also this question of how far do we want to progress to include everyone? And so there can be kind of this back and forth of this energy between Capricorn and Aquarius of progressing, trying to include everyone, or sticking to the rule book and doing things in the traditional or conservative way. And so there was a lot going on that year with same-sex or around that time of the Venus retrograde with same-sex marriage being outlawed, but also legalized in some states in the US. There were big sex trafficking cases. The Canada Supreme Court uh, striked down anti-prostitution laws. The nuclear program of Iran uh, was going on and renewable energy. China launched a crackdown on Bitcoin, plunging value by 35%. There were lots of floods and like really weird and crazy weather conditions and natural disasters. There was like a typhoon. Biden, who is actually the VP at the time, criticized China for the crackdown of foreign journalists in the country. There were investments from the U.S., I believe, in uh, an oil company in Mexico. There were a lot of train accidents and car bombings. There was a dinosaur fossil found, which goes very well with Capricorn and kind of like history and structures of history in Alberta, Canada. Australia ruled against same-sex marriage at that time frame. So did India. We had the first gay prime minister in Luxembourg, Europe. There were a lot of late Christmas packages, which I definitely believe we could see around this time. Researchers found a link between Parkinson's and agricultural pesticides, which once again goes with that like agricultural theme that I was saying before. There were police, tons of police attacks and hate crimes against gay people and religious people. There were a lot of states starting to legalize marijuana around that time. There were also a lot of privacy issues, which I definitely, definitely think that we could could see this time, privacy and security issues, using technology to spy. I definitely, definitely, definitely think something like that could come up this time with Saturn ruling this Venus retrograde on Pluto and Saturn being in Aquarius. So watch out for those kinds of things. There were a lot of bank robberies, black market sales. There were also references to the US election commission being hacked by China. So the beginning of January, 2014, so basically Venus is retrograding from December to January as well. So from December 2013 to January 2014. So the beginning of January 2014, 13 states raised 
the minimum wage in the U.S. There were provisions to the Affordable Care Act. There was a building explosion killing 13 people in Minneapolis. All 50 states in the U.S. experienced temperatures below zero. There was also a revisiting of constitutional rights and laws, and there were a lot of construction accidents. So I don't know about you, but everything that I named off previously and the descriptions that I gave about Capricorn and all of that, I just feel like all of that really, really fits with Venus retrograde and Capricorn on Pluto, and it was retrograding on Pluto then too, so I feel like we could see similar themes. And I also feel like it really goes into something we're already seeing, which is Roe versus Wade. Now, I'm not here to discuss abortion, but it definitely does go with the astrology and it really aligns with the astrology. And something else that I would like to point out that I don't feel like a lot of people see, all these movements, especially in like the last year or two that have gotten really big, it all comes down to how much power the government and authority has over you and I and our bodies, right? It all comes down to that. These different movements, whether it is abortion, the vaccines, gay, gay rights, whatever it is, it all comes down to how much power the government has. And we're all really fighting for the same shit, you know, like all these different movements are fighting for the same thing. I think that's gonna really, really build over these next couple months. Like there is going to be a lot of chaos in my opinion regarding these issues and just how much power we are willing to give authority figures and the federal government you know what i mean which doesn't live our lives like we live our lives they aren't they aren't our parents you know what i mean and so it just all kind of connects to me and i don't see how a lot of other people don't see that but anyways views and rules on women unfortunately you know and that really goes with roe versus wade but capricorn's a feminine sign capricorn's a powerful sign and it's got pluto in it and although there can be corruption to some extent i do think that these topics regarding women and women finding their personal power will be very very big with this venus retrograde like I said, we could also see elite, wealthy, authority figure scandals in relationships or with relationships, sex, and money. So definitely watch out for that. That's going to be big. So the governments, the power that they have in these systems that are holding it all are corrupt. That's what Pluto and Capricorn tells us, right? Like something has got into the cracks of the foundation that this shit is standing on and it's become corrupt. It's no longer trustworthy. You can't fucking trust it, right? And I've been saying that for years now. Pluto and Capricorn is digging a deep ass hole into all of the shady shit, all of the secrets, all of the corruption. It's like the the iceberg, right? And it's like, it's deep, deep, deep down in there and it's all being kind of purged out. And this is, I believe, a massive start to that with this Venus retrograde. Like all these planets are gonna start dancing around Pluto. Mercury retrogrades back and goes over Pluto when it retrogrades in a few weeks. We have Mars that's gonna meet Venus to go over Pluto again when she starts moving forward. And so all of this is really dancing around Pluto and it's all happening like right at the, in the same few month period as the exact hit to the US's Pluto for the US's Pluto return. So I think that we need to stop accepting or at least we will likely stop accepting these superficial fixes to issues, deep rooted issues and problems that is no longer working. It's like the foundation <laughs> that it's all built upon is the problem. That is what Pluto and Capricorn tells us. The backbone, the structure that's holding it all together is no longer strong. It is no longer reliable. And that is going to be massively exposed with this Venus retrograde. But we keep trying to, it's like, it's like there's freaking termites in your the wood the structure holding up your house you're trying to like buy new shutters and shit and it's like how, like that's not going to fix your problem or there's like mold that's like deeply embedded in the structure of your house and you're trying to paint your wall like it, it, that's what we're doing you know what i mean like all of this shit like all of these other issues that a lot of people are arguing over or like being divided over are like not even getting to the root of the problem and so a lot of us are just accepting these like superficial 
little crumbs instead of like uprooting the whole thing, which I think will eventually uh, come. And I think Venus retrograde is kind of the start of this, in my opinion. But the federal government and the role it plays either way is being called into question. And also the foundation in which our economy, banking systems, and system stands on, you know, the, the foundation is being called into question here. I think that we could also be really rethinking consumerism, things like that with this Venus retrograde. I think those topics could definitely come into question. And also just showing us like how out of touch we are with nature and the earth and feminine energy. Like it's just, it's fucking insane. So if you were those in power and you wanted to make massive changes that basically favor you and nobody else, right? Because that's normally what happens and that's what Pluto and Capricorn is showing us, then you're gonna have to rip up and restructure the foundation, which is Capricorn, right? But you can't just do that when there are billions and trillions of people living on that foundation, right? Like there's less of you and more of them. So you have to somehow convince the people to agree with you, which is Aquarius. Saturn rules Capricorn those in power, right? The elite, the government, whatever. But it's in Aquarius, the sign of the people, right? And so restrictions and restricting the people is part of the Pluto and Capricorn hidden whatever, you know what I mean? And like, yeah, I know I may sound a little like woohoo out there conspiracy theorists, but like, on, like they're related, I'm sorry. Like that's how astrology works. Like. Pluto is expressing through Capricorn, which is expressing through its host, which is Saturn in Aquarius, okay? So Saturn's fucking corrupt too, okay? So like you can't, if Pluto wasn't in Capricorn, I'd say, okay, okay, like whatever. But Pluto's in fucking Capricorn. The foundation, the system, the structure is corrupt, right? This is not just like, you know, oh, you know, a few people in power, like, you know, ruining it for everybody. Like, no, it's so much fucking deeper. It is, Pluto is deep. <laughs> Could stay hidden for long periods of time for a reason, right? We allow all of these rules and restrictions and like being told what to do by people and governments and leaders and whatnot that are not even living our lives for us, right? And so I think that is all coming into question. And not all of that is necessarily my opinion. Like astrologically, that's what I see. Some of it is my opinion though, but you know. So let's get to the last part of this video where we talk about what you could see in your life personally, what we may notice more in our life personally. This is not a great time to do anything that you can't undo with your appearance, with relationships. I mean, this could be somewhat like an ending or a major change in relationships and friendships for a lot of people or with money, but it could come kind of naturally, like not like something that's more out of your control, rather in your control. And this is kind of like a time of like, you know, really reflecting on if you, how you wanna deal with that or how you wanna to react to that. I think that this is gonna be a massive time of seeing the true colors of people. And with Venus and Pluto, unfortunately, some people, maybe not all people, but some people can notice themes of betrayal, lies, secrets, you know, kind of surfacing, deceit. This could also be like intensity and like a deepening of the bonds in certain relationships and connections and really revisiting your goals in relationships or with finances, with money, but also the structure and foundations of your goals with finances, money, and relationships. So those are some other things that could come up. For some people, this could bring about some chaos or some things that are out of control regarding relationships and friendships. Like I said, you could really be seeing people's true colors. This could bring about a change in our priorities, a change in how we view success, a change in our finances, addressing boundary issues or themes of boundaries coming up, facing rough or challenging issues in love, money, and work, addressing cracks in our foundations. This can also be a time of managing our affairs or getting our affairs in order regarding relationships and finances. This could also be a time of reflecting on the commitments that we wanna make, worthiness, traditions in love or our past in love and money. Really like getting down to like what's worth the work and what isn't. 
uh, what are we willing to do and what's what's really of value to us like what's the necessity it's time to boss up and manage shit like i was saying earlier you know and that may be rough but it's a time of really rebuilding something and readdressing something that we really want to stand the test of time and that will actually be useful to us it's also a time of reflecting on what it is that we actually want our necessities and what's worth our commitments this can also be a time of restructuring our lives and our values some people could notice this as like an attraction to shadiness or mystery or danger in some way like this could be a time where you maybe are like for whatever reason having these like cravings or urges to like do something that's like you know, <laughs> like you have this deep desire to like, you know, do something that you know you fucking shouldn't, you know what I mean? That could be a really big thing for a lot of people. But this is really showing us where we need to find our power, where we need to transmute something. You know, Pluto can also deal with alchemy. And so it's a time of really like transmuting certain things into something else and uh we could see a lot of that and so whatever issue that you're having you have to try to think about it in terms of like what could i do here how could i transmute this into something that actually works for me now since the old thing isn't working for me now anymore some people could experience loss or the destruction of something that was important to them oh it, i mean it could get kind of scary like pluto is a dark ass planet it could get you know, there could be some some big changes or pretty abrupt endings in some people's lives. And so those are some other things you wanna watch out for. Our relationship with tradition is changing. Our relationship to something old that is no longer working for us is changing. There could be a lot of endings to old traditions. Um, the shadow side of beauty and wealth and success is really going to be revealed to a lot of us. Power dynamics in relationships, friendships, and you know, connection, financial connections also could be a really big thing uh, that comes up around this time. Anyways, uh, th that is basically it, you guys. That Those are my uh, predictions for this Venus retrograde. Please let me know down below in the comments if you are still here. If you watched this whole freaking video, then you are an OG. I really, really appreciate you. Comment down below with a black heart. The black heart's my favorite. Like, I just love the black heart, but favorite color is black. But so comment down below with a black heart if you made it all the way here. I really, really appreciate you. Please share this video, like this video. Yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I will be coming out with more videos of upcoming big events that are happening in 2022. And again, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in my other videos. Bye.